Hello everybody and welcome back. And I am going to attempt to do a update for August. A, it's gonna probably be a rapid fire. I'm actually trying to beat a record of uh, 40 minutes. Well, yeah. So anyway, let's just get started on significant things. I would say this is significant. This is a recent mount. Uh, you can see the roots. A new growth that is maturing very nicely and a nice bug there that's nice that has blown before but a nice uh, new growth and I did show you the name of that that's a complex hybrid also next to this formerly a dendrobium this is a uh, flickingeria now scopa and as I have been showing you uh, it has been producing new growths from the base and also along the stem in various places. There's one right there. And at the base, you can see these nubbins that are buds. Probably need to water. But this will be a first time bloom if I get a bud or a bud to successfully open. It did put a bud out earlier, but it blasted. These are like swamp plants, I call it. it needs a lot of water. This is a dendrobium. That's the name. And I believe it's putting out something over here, although it looks pretty ratty the plant overall itself that could probably be a new growth because there isn't any growths coming um, finally some root activity on this the name of it Cychilis that new growth is maturing as well I've never bloomed that so I have no idea here is a flower spike that is progressing really nicely. That is my Gongora rufescens. It's a yellow flower with stripes. Newly mounted in Unicum, still doing okay. This is my Galliandra Thieves that I've shown recently. It's been open about a week. It's my den, Golden Eye, that just recently finished blooming, and it's putting out numerous new growths, nice fat new growths. This is my Dendrobium pendulum that Emmy noticed in one of my videos as well. This is the newest growth, and it is starting to put out another one. Lots of nice roots all over the mount. So yes, again, this is my den Alexandra, which is a species from <clears throat> uh, New Guinea. And I wish it would put up some new roots, but it is giving me those two new growths, which are fairly small right now, but okay. This is relatively new, but it's been a few months. Uh, the main plant here, this is my Leptotes tenuous and it is putting up new growths. Here they are. There's one, two, three. This is still looking pretty good. All of these new growths on that. The roots did kind of die back, but new growths are still looking nice. What else? This here's a spent flower on my Patricia. BC Patricia, but still representative of what the flower looks like. Nice frilly lip with the stripes and the spots, and the spotted sepals and petals. Very attractive. This can't be what the tag says, but it's beautiful nonetheless. No fragrance. Yeah, no fragrance has been open about a week or so. This is a cross between Yellowbird, BC Yellowbird, and Q 
Kiwani Mendenhall BLC. This is also putting out two nice new growths. This is a Trichocentrum nudum. This is a new growth, and then that other one that's over here. This is new. And then this is another Trichocentrum, which is, there's the name. It's never bloomed for me, but this is a new growth. Nice long new growth, and then there are some that are coming out at the base here. Let me see, let me go back over this way. Of course, that's my wall that I will skip. Of course, this is my outcast jungle wall. That is a spent flower. Down here is my Dan Habiki, which is a new acquisition. Pretty pastel flowers. More of them have opened down at the base. Nothing really over here, probably getting a little too much sun. Uh, this is something, this is my uh, Rinkolalia Glauca, and that's a new growth over there. There may be another one somewhere, but lots of nice roots. So, let's look in here. This is my Epidendrum Parkinsonian, well, let's call the stylus now. You can see all of the new growths that are popping out. Between the plant closer to the mount yeah way deep in there it's really good also there are roots all over waiting to see some get up in there in that moss but it's doing fine nothing really major here just growths um, I'm really sad about these. I've moved these dendrobiums that are um, Joe McGrath, I believe that's what it is. Hoping that maybe they were just getting too much sun, I'm not sure, but because it was growing and then the growths died. And so we'll just see what ends up happening. This is my Epidendrum Nocturnum and that inflorescence that has started is still active. I guess that one is as well. Um, I need to repot this. This is my Grammatophyllum that just finished blooming. You can see it's starting to put out new growths. So the media does look a little bit old. Uh, yeah, my Epidendrum raniferum is finished. Nice, strong new growth on, this is my Gongora um, Illens, I believe it's Illens. No, it's Gongora Grossa, that's what that is. Nothing much over there, nice, nice strong growth. This is my Epi uh, Stanfordianon. And this did, I think it has attached itself to that mount. That was a gift from Chris Bevins. Shout out to Chris. And back over here, can't forget Akito Sato. That nice new growth. Still going. Roots. Still going. Okay, that's pretty much it over there. Um, back over this way, this is my, no, that's not the tag, this is the tag. It says an epidendrum cross. I do not have a lot going on. As you can see, these are just sort of giving the progress. Um, but it's got, it's numerous new growths and it's got couple more down at the base and a few that are growing some hopefully that will give me some blooms soon over here these are mostly just some cattleyas that are growing this is my cymbadella cross 
which is Rhodochelia crossed with, I believe it's Falcagera. Maybe it's the other one. But this is a new growth. Um, I did add some more lava to the top and the roots have gone down into it. And it's got that new growth that's right here. Um, this has started to put up new growths. And this is my, what is this? By Diacrium. It's got those new growths right there. And that's another one over there. Um, my Angracums back here still look really good and clean. Still alive. That's my, of course, long cow car with those two pups at the base. And that's... Uh, uh, Linford White Beauty. Um, this just finished blooming, which it has been identified, but I can't remember the name. It was bought a, as a BC Golden Glory, which it wasn't. And it has just continued to cover the mount with roots. And it's put up another really strong new growth, a couple new growths, in fact. And this is the cane that it just bloomed off of. A beautiful flower. Did I talk about that? My Sean Arcus Juncofolia with those new growths. Right there and there. And one, two. I thought there were three. But anyway, I won't spend too much time on that. Back over this way. That is there's the buds right there on that brasavala this is miyaka stars which is a cross regina crossed with subulifolia back here is my perenni with those buds right there brasavala perenni nice new two new growths on that brasavala and then of course I have all of my other species that are species and hybrids that are hanging up back this way. This is flagellaris right here. And this is Marciana. It's got a new growth right there. And back there is my crazy arachno. What else? This is my Hawaiian leopard right here, Mei Ling. Um, yeah, not much really going on down here. This growth did complete. It was getting, I had to cut the leaf because it was browning, but I did, the, so the pseudobulb did mature. It doesn't look like it's gonna bloom for me this year, but that's okay. It is putting up some new roots at the base and I will probably have to get that out of that pot. I will definitely share that with you when I do it. Uh, nothing really over here except more roots here on my den discolor. Not really seeing any new growth yet or any inflorescence, although there is a lot of activity on the plant. In addition, this is my Nindy that's a new growth um, and I have another Nindy that has a new growth on it that escapes me now it's in the vicinity over here somewhere oh here it is looks like it's gonna put up another one that's swelling down there at the base um, here is a flower spike or two that is progressing and that is my Vanda type cross. Looks like it's almost showing buds. That is Christian Sonianum Tainoi crossed with, no, Christian Sonianum Vietnamica. And that's Rinka Stylus Tainoi. I think it did focus. Uh, Oh, you know, I have to show you this. And 
well not this, these buds did blast on it for some reason. And, but this is what I wanted to show you. You see that? Does that look familiar? That's all I'm gonna say. Still a bud over here on my Eichlerianum. No, that's not Eichlerianum. This is Eichlerianum is right here. This is um, not Infundibulare. It's my, the other, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. And of course, there is no tag there. So I'll think of that in a minute. Uh, but it's an Angracum species. Nice roots here on my Trichoglottis. Brachiata. Nice, nice roots. And I think that's pretty much it for out here. Just more cattleyas back there. Uh, yeah, no sheaths. Some encyclias here. This is my Tempensis alba. That's got four or five new growths. Lots of in my encyclias are doing okay. That is a cross. That's my patents, Encyclia patents, with that nice new growth there. And that here is a Nodosa cross with Guatemalensis. It's got that nice growth there. And there is a sheath right there on this Cattleya that is newly mounted, and I believe it's got a dark shadow in there. So let's walk out this into the greenhouse and see what's going on out there because I believe I shared everything in here that was of significant. Like I said, this is a dead month as far as blooms are concerned. And I'm not dwelling on the negative. Still a lot of positive out here. This is a positive thing. This is my Comari. And it's got some tips some root tip action going on down there and it's got those little pups that were not there it's got a new a couple of leaves coming yay this is another thing that i'll show you which is i don't care about but this is a um well you know it's a vanda type um and i only it's been dead and i only use it because it's attached this is the bottom of that and it's got my angricum florentulum sitting in it and so this is there's the stem but this week i noticed that the stupid thing you see those root tips i mean this didn't get any water all winter and i have not ever fertilized it all summer it just sits as a hanger basically and you see those roots isn't that funny? Oh well, it's trying. Gotta give it credit. When you leave things to die in, they won't die. Okay, so we're here in the greenhouse now. And I haven't been out here in a few days, so I need to water. This is my sad looking for Bezzy. That does have some new growth. It just really needs water because these like lots of water, especially when it's hot. And it really hasn't been all that hot but it just likes water. And this is my um, Lelia Anceps. And that right there is a sheath. This is uh, always, like I've always said, this is very floppy. There is another new growth over there that is more erect. This is a new acquisition that I got from the cat. Another cat, Leah Lady, uh, Norma Kramer, Noemi Kramer, that's who I'm thinking of, not Norma, Naomi Kramer. And I got a perenni crossed with chocolate drop. Pretty big plant from her. And it's got a nice new growth. Lots of nice green root tips. Had this for a couple of weeks now. Kind of watering it sparingly to get it acclimated, but I do need to water. My adorable upwind finally stopped blooming. The other one still putting up those new growths. Um, still got this sheath happening on this Cat lay across jungle gym times uh, Pina Corota. 
I did repot, I think I did a video on my, maybe I didn't, I just repotted my Dan Johnsonii because the new growths were just not um, doing so good and I just really needed to get them out of the media that they were in. So I did that. Um, I did lots of repotting on this little table and this is so top heavy because it is putting up the progression of more of a flower spike so that's and plus it is empty of water that's how you can tell it's in semi hydro and there it goes again um, but these are just some of my paths no my paths my phalaenopsis hybrids that are going out of bloom and this will have flowers soon that's my phalaenopsis fasciata which is this is fasciata which is one that I'm going to be giving away. Any more blooms over here? Here's my Valentii, which is very fragrant. And I will have flowers of, that's my KS Happy Eagle. That has a few buds coming. Other than that, I am getting some new growths down there finally off of my Maui coconut that you can see it tried to die on me. And uh, there is some spikes and buds on that Phalaenopsis hybrid. What else? My Shilariana here is giving me another leaf after it lost one. And so is this is my Stuartiana, I believe that's what that is. Um, over this way, I'm about to get another flower on my BLCV to Lee, which just finished blooming there. Um, and I need to repot this, but I'm kind of nervous about it. I may leave it in here. If, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is my Maxillaria. It's with a brand new one that I just got. And let's see if I can get a picture of the flower. This is a Variabilis clone. And you can see how dark it is. Well, if I can actually show it. Anyway, it's not wanting to. Yeah, I can't get it for you, but you got a little glimpse of it. And here's another sheath on a Brasavola nodosa. I repotted this out of that moss. Hopefully some of it, but you can see how it just did not like, did not like it. Hopefully some of it will survive. We will see, you know how those maxillarias are. It likes to die off parts of the plant, as did this Ben Berlina. I think it might be the heat. You can see how those pseudobulbs are brown, whereas there are still are new growths the lighter green are where all the new growths are. So hopefully I will get some new growths replacing the old dying off ones. And now I'm going to not get a bloom, I don't think, because you can see how it is browning. And that would have been my Phalaenopsis, no, Path Charles Worthy eye. I don't think it's going to bloom now. And here is flower of my Erangus Elro cross. Well, it's Oringus Elro, it's not a cross. Very fragrant night. You can see the nectar, nectarine. Nectarine, it's a nectar. Anyway. So that will be nice, very slowly forming. what else that's pretty much it folks to be honest just my paths down here this is my stony eye that i've had to sort of stake up it's got this growth that's putting out a new leaf in there and then that one's putting up a new leaf that is my lady rothschild this is saint swithin i believe 
This is my Long Tune African Queen, LC Long Tune Lug Tone African Beauty. And it still has a new growth there. And there's another one peeking out over there. So yeah, folks, not much blooming, unfortunately. My lens just finished blooming. But it is still capable of putting up more blooms. My boba phylums that I got at Hauserman's early, well, it was late last year over Christmas. They're just putting up lots of new growths in there. So yeah, that is exciting. But anyway, folks, that's about it for my update. I don't think I missed anything. I really don't. But I appreciate you all for watching. And we will see you soon.